Today is English 1, Raisin in the Sun. Um, we are working on our objective for December 7th, 2020. Today we're going to be talking about gender roles in the first act. Gender roles are roles or behavior learned by a person as appropriate to their gender, determined by the prevailing cultural norms. They are stereotypes of how men and women are supposed to act. Generally speaking, we see them as limiting and not accurate in today's society, but they still inform a lot of the literature we read and sometimes still affect how we're treated and how we act. Um, some examples of gender norms or stereotypes are girls should play with dolls and boys should play with trucks. Boys should be directed to like blue and green and girls should lean towards red and pink. Um, can you think of any more? So if you're in class, we're gonna pause and you're gonna put them in the chat. If you're not in class, there's gonna be a space in your daily work for you to type a few. Next, I'm gonna show you guys a model of how these we look for gender stereotypes in the act one of Raisin in the Sun. So how this works is I'm gonna go through an, a couple annotations using the K-Pass method. I will remind you of what that is in just a moment. You will have an opportunity to watch the model and you will have access to my model that I make in your work. However, um, if you have any questions, you're going to have an opportunity to ask them and clarify and practice one as a group if you're in class. If not, I encourage you, if you have any issues or you're confused, reach out, message, text. There's plenty of ways to get a hold of me and I'm happy to help you. So the KPOS annotation method that you guys have been working on, we're just looking at the level one piece of it right now. We're looking for keywords and phrases. And so the easiest way to do that is to look for the who, what, when, where, and why. And we're specifically focusing on one idea with these who, what, when, where, and why. So the what we're looking for is gender stereotypes, gender role, identity type stuff. Um, what does it mean to be a man or a woman in the time of like a raisin in the sun? All right. I've clicked into today's work. You'll notice it has the same date has a purpose for reading. We're looking at examples of people using gender roles in the novel or in the play rather. Um, you're going to make a minimum of four annotations for classwork credit and let's be clear the annotations that I'm making below do not count. <laughs> so you're going to have to make four of your own. Now with regards to how to do the highlighting, um, let me show you that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your cursor over and drag to highlight a series of, of words and then you can pick a color. I've picked green for the group work and yellow for mine. If you want, you could pick a different color for yours. I would suggest not using the same color so that it's really clear which ones are yours and which ones aren't. So for now, I'm going to pick this blue color. Boom. How to do annotations is now highlighted and I can start annotating it if I wanted. So you'll notice in our text, we'll have kind of a double entry situation. The play is on the left-hand side, the annotations go on the right. I'm gonna start with my first annotation over here and I'm gonna go ahead and think through the actual like who, what, when, where strategy with you. So, man say to his woman, I got a dream. His woman say, eat your eggs, sadly, but gaining power. Man say, I gotta take hold of this here world, baby. So here we have Walter, um, let me make it a color so you can see it. Boom. And there is an H there. Here, Walter is saying that it's a man's job to dream and take over the world while women don't understand and are just worried about cooking and household manners. Um, you can kind of see that this is a what situation, and most of the situations you're gonna to find today are gonna to be what. If you could find a when, like this is specific to the time period, kudos and bonus points to you. Um, so <clears throat> really, let's just be really explicit about how this is connecting. So he's talking about he has dreams, right? And she's saying eat your eggs. So dreams we kind of think of as like higher level, higher order thinking while cooking and cleaning. Those are like menial, low level tasks that you can do without a lot of thought or um, intention. All right. 
So down here, we have another one. So C, I'm trying to talk to you about myself, shaking his head with repetition. And all you can say is eat them eggs and go to work. So again, Walter is implying that his thoughts are more important and that Ruth can only think about things like feeding people and him going to work. So she's more, she, she's only able to handle practical things is sort of what he's implying. He doesn't say that, obviously, but it's the sort of idea that women belong at home and in the kitchen in the 1950s sort of housewife scenario that we're seeing kind of be brought to life. So I could be fancy and extend and add a, um, a when, right? Uh, oops, this is a sort of 1950s housewife. Um, there we go. All right. And that would kind of get me the, the, the what and the when. And we could also be more explicit about the who, like, I think we've done a pretty good job. We could say he's implying that as a man, his thoughts are more important than Ruth, who is a woman. But if you at least get this much down, you're you're showing me that you understand what's happening. Now, um, you'll notice that I have a green one highlighted here. What I want you to do is think about this and answer these two questions. If you're in class with me, we're going to pause and you're going to have time to actually do that. If you are watching asynchronously um, and trying to do the work without me, you're still going to need to do these two annotations as a checkpoint. They, st they still go towards your participation part of your grade for the week. Um, and you still will be responsible for four more annotations in the, the next three pages. All right. Now, the next thing that I want to um, um, talk about is the focus question. So this is sort of like how I know we've done our objective for the day. So at the very end of the text that you're supposed to be reading today, there's a focus question. I try to highlight everything that I'm doing in yellow or that's important as like for, uh, an assignment in yellow so that you can see that you've done everything that you need to do. That's why the directions are highlighted in yellow. My annotations are highlighted in yellow. And this work is. So you can always kind of go through your work and make sure you know where you're at. So in several good sentences, answer the following question. How did gender roles create conflict between Benita and Walter? So just to be clear, we've kind of been talking about how uh, conflict is created between Walter and Ruth, his wife. And we can say that um, we're having a little bit of conflict in terms of people getting what they want or people suggesting that people don't understand that they're what what's needed by a person. So like, for instance, let me be less obscure. Walter here is telling us that he's basically saying his wife can't understand his position as a man and his desire to be out in the world and have a dream. And because she's just fundamentally incapable of doing that, she'll never understand him. And this creates conflict because we know that's not true. Ruth is plenty good at understanding him. Um, and she kind of says, she kind of, we kind of get that here. So she says, honey, you never say nothing new. I listen to you every day and every night and every morning, and you never say nothing new. So you'd rather be Mr. Arnold than be a chauffeur. So I'd rather be living in the Buckingham Palace. So he, she implies that she understands that like he has these big dreams, but he's, he keeps doing the same thing and saying the same thing. And what do you get when you do and say the same thing over and over again? the same. So um, I think that clearly shows that their conflict as man and wife is that they just don't understand each other or at least Walter does not understand that she gets what he where he's coming from and that the issue is really more with him and his ability to sort of like adapt and change to achieve the dreams that he wants. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video you guys have a great Monday and hopefully I'm seeing you in class. And if not, if you need anything, feel free to message me via the app. Um, you can text my phone if you have it 
all of those things you can use to help yourself because the goal here is you being successful in this class. So have a good day.